it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. So why not just give up and watch us here on The Hump? <laughs>Lots of tours happening. I tend to call it like the Shady Pines <laughs> retirement <laughs> arena of um, elderly folk still on stage. Very oh, come on. It's, it's legacy music. It's money in the bank, love. I uh, won't be touring. This is the, the, the no eagles anymore. Akadaka cannot possibly keep going no. with one member. Um, Farnsy and um, Barnsy, they're, they're on the, the, the still viable list. Bowie won't be back because he's gone, which mm. is sad. Prince, the Bee Gees. Lenny from Motorhead, mm -hmm. Michael good Jackson. Um, good news. Well, we've still got Tom Jones and Cliff Richard, of course, your favourite Cliff artist. Richard, hey? Classic. <laughs> is there yeah. any Barry Manilow amongst that all? <laughs> is Barry still? I think he's still performing, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. like we had uh, we had Burke Bacharach through last year. Yeah, he's on his... Astonishing. He's, he's fairly fragile, yeah. as is Niall Rogers, who's mm. a musical maestro, a genius. Earth, Wind and Fire... Tower of Power, you just told yeah, me. Yeah, no, that's the exciting. Break, they, they are coming, coming and that uh, is very cool. The Seekers. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> Your favourite. <laughs> the Strolling Bones are still doing it? I don't think they're coming back no, here. No, that's... That, I mean, they're still so working. So Guns N' Roses are coming yeah, out in 2017. Yeah, that's... that's there's gonna, they're, and again, you're right. They're going to sell tickets. Hand well, the second show still, already in They Sydney. already have. And yeah. I, no one really knows if they're going to be any good at it or not. I mean, Axel's, Bizarre, isn't it? you know... Yeah. Flop a bit flaky, but Slash is still pretty good. Elton John still works, which yeah. I personally I think that's really cool. Yeah, because yeah. he's a huge talent. Mm. Step aside, One Direction. Mm. Who needs them anymore? Oh, step over the cliff. <laughs> I'm just I'm cranky again. <laughs> anyway, back to um, the Seekers. No, <laughs> no not there. No, but who else is coming? Um, uh, the Finn, uh, Finn Neil, Finn. Crowd, crowd, crowd house. House. Yeah. apparently the crowdies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, sounds like yeah. well, two, words. two of them. So, mm. yeah, there's some good things happening. And I think as far, like, if you're a, a true fan of, like, Guns N' Roses or whoever, mm. you'll, you'll keep on going because mm. they're kind of in the autumn stage think, of Do you think their... Australians will buy Madonna tickets after what she did to them? Oh, she if was she a little bit cheeky back? and a bit rude. Oh, like, I won't go on stage until 11 p.m. Oh, yeah, what? that's right. I heard people queued up for, like, three hours. It, was, yeah. it wasn't the main show. It was the side show she was oh, doing. Well, that, in Melbourne, she did that. but she, she, Three hours waiting in front of In Brisbane. She was three hours late in Brisbane. Oh, the main, the main she show. She went off at 1.30 a.m. and there was no buses or yeah. trains. Mm. I think it's just putting a makeup on. Recent Cure Tour was apparently amazing. They played for almost four hours. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, like, that's yeah, that raised it well. Yeah. So they can still do it. These people have been doing it for years again. Apparently Tom Jones was amazing. My oh, wife and he's very consistent. Went and very he was consistent. still banging it out. So. I know what to get you for Christmas. Um, no, not me. <laughs> <Take it. laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> but, okay, so the, the risk for a promoter, so promotion is a very risky business at the best of times. Is this basically, you know, pretty much as money long as, in the bank? as long as they don't bring them back too soon, like Dolly mm. Parton came back too quick Dolly last Parton. time. Mm. So the previous tour she sold real well and mm. the last one wasn't so good. Mm. Okay. It's, you know, it's still a risk. Mm. Yeah. You've got to be half nuts to be a promoter. Yep. And most of them most are. Most of them are. <laughs> All right, with that, we're taking a break. We'll see you in a minute.
The newest generation of Tascam's flagship handheld digital stereo recorder delivers ultra high resolution recordings up to 192K 24 bit with 109 dB signal to noise ratio. The unit includes dual stereo mics in both AB and omnidirectional patterns, two XLR combo jacks, switchable phantom power, and a dedicated input level control. The DR100 Mark III's dual battery technology utilises built-in lithium-ion rechargeable as well as AA batteries, giving you extended recording times and the ability to change batteries on the fly. Other features include temperature compensated clocking, high performance dual mono AKM velvet sound converters, HD DA microphone preamps, and support for SDXC cards up to 128 gig. Welcome back. Now, talking about artists that uh, sadly will never tour again, mm. what do you think the potential is for them to come back as like holograms or recreations? Do you think that's ever going to be a market that's actually going to work? Well, so, I might do. That's what I always wanted with Michael Jackson. There was a lot of talk of it happening. Do you think it'd be good enough after. though? Like, you know, with the experience of, you know, actually seeing it, not the real person. Oh, it'd have to be a full show. Mm. You'd have to have other performers like, and mm. dance. When Elvis, the Elvis tour of his band. Mm. And they used film of him, split mm. the vocal out, mm. but because Just it was video his band. Footage. If you had Michael Jackson's original drummer and mm. yeah, I mean that'd be pretty dynamic. Yeah, he I has mean, a lot of footage. The, the video technology would have to get a bit better. Yeah. You'd have to actually have a believable, you know, reconstruction. On Goes stage. to my uh, theory that you sell more records after you die. <laughs> oh, it's it's, it's absolutely true. The uh, key yeah. to success. Key to success is death. Yeah, Bowie went straight to number one, and I think several of his albums yeah. did straight after his death. So yeah. it happens every time. There's a huge sales spike. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can see there are some artists who actually put in their wills that their image is not to be used after they've gone. Is that right? Yeah. No, there's a, there's a few people who've done that. So. Oh, they're idiots. Mm, well, you know, maybe they don't want to look after. They're just whoever. precious. It's not yeah. in your will. Mm. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> yeah, you've obviously drafted my will recently, so she gets I everything leave. apparently. Yes, <laughs> Sophie right. Eshman, media guru. That's right. Hand it all over, Julia. Who knew? Mm. All right. Moving on from that, let's have a look in Gearbox. Well, Jimmy, Micron yes. by Riedel. Yeah, this is part of the Media Net family of products. Now, Micron is a little box with uh, a bunch of connectors on it and can do two things. First up, it can act as a standalone 12 by 12 video router with uh, two MADI ports. Um, and we'll talk about the, the routing capabilities more in a minute. Um, but really where it sort of comes into its own is as an interface to the Metron router. All right, well, thank you for joining us again this week on The Hump. I'll see you, 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 and you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.